we have been preparing, but I had been preparing to stay in Kiev. So we were collecting water, filling up because we need five liters of water per day per person. Um, and uh, like the, the, that run bag concept. So I, I knew where my bear spray is and I knew where my flashlights were. And when the moment came, it was crazy because it was just like, not, you didn't think. It was like immediately you just throw it in your bag and run and you it, you put your entire life into um a rucksack that i used to carry to the university it's and, and maybe like a north face uh backpack but a little one not a big one it's it's terrifying and then you understand how valuable life is and how little we actually need I wonder if you can just tell me about now that you're on the road, how are you managing to get the things you need, uh, food, but importantly, petrol? The, the stores are just amazing. It's, it's, it's almost heartbreaking to see how kind and, and smiling everybody's cooperating because we know we love our country and we love our people. It's, too, it's, it's gasoline was an issue apparently in the beginning, but they're rationing it. So there's only a certain amount that each person can purchase. I know you don't want to reveal where you're heading for, but what are you hoping for once you arrive? What I'm hoping for is to get a little bit of sleep, food, uh, get my wits together, observe what is happening and remain in the t safe, what it, if it's safe, uh, remain in Ukraine and continue to uh, create the, the, the future that Ukraine really deserves together with its partners and allies. Worst case scenario, we leave, we run. And for me, it's not that bad because you know, I, I, I'm a North American, but for my, my friends in the car, it's, it, it, their whole life is, is torn apart.